Hi, my name's Gareth. I've put together this video. I'd like to say short video, but it's not that short on how to put chains on. Um, I hope it could be some use to uh, people that are driving out to the Alps this winter um, who, uh, who, who don't have winter tyres on. It ended up being uh, way longer than I wanted. So uh, the next section is just how to put chains on in one minute. Um, so you could watch that. Um, and if that's your thing, then you can keep watching um, as I explain each step by step. One thing I did forget was to uh, make the point about which uh, wheels to put your chains on. Um, they should go on your drive wheels. So if you uh, have a front wheel drive car, put your chains on your front wheels. Um, if you've got a rear wheel drive car and you'll have to look that up, um, if you're a Mercedes or a BMW driver, um, plenty of them make the mistake of putting the chains on the wrong wheels. So for them, it'll be rear wheel drive and uh, most of them will need to put the chains on their rear wheels. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, uh, hang on for the uh, how to put chains on in one minute. Okay, let's see how I get on popping the chains on within a minute. Take the chains out of the box, make some space, open the chains up. Check they're not caught up at all. Pop them around the back of the wheel. Lift them up, clip them together at the back, clip the first hook on, push the chain back, fetch the bottom hook out, clip that on, Tighten. Oh, we've got a twist. There, tighten it up. First hook, second hook, pop it on. There we go. Um, I've, I've never used a, I've never had a 4x4, I've used them, um, but I've never owned a 4x4 in the Alps. I've been here 20 years. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with, with normal cars. I always make sure they have uh, good snow tyres on them. That's the most important thing. But as a backup, uh, I carry chains. Um, and I've got to say that they're all different. You need to practice putting your new chains on. Um, read the instructions. Um, but saying that, they, uh, they're all uh, they all work in a similar way. Um, I'm pretty sure I can pick up most chains and not have to read the instructions anymore. Um, but uh, that's not to say don't read the instructions. Do read the instructions. I did want to get my wife to do this because she's better at m than me at putting chains on, but um, uh, she told me to take a running jump. So you've got me again. Okay, well, I'm going to try and pop these chains on for the first time. They are new. Pop my gloves on. I did notice that they had this mean trick, which you often get with new chains, which is a, um, a zip tie, which if, unless you have a knife is a bit of a problem. There you go. Let's see if we can get it off. There we go, zip tie off. How do you get into them? Like that. Never use, nice and clean. First things first is to untangle them. Hooks everywhere, right, looking good and hopeful that we've achieved what we need to achieve. All chains have a mark to uh, indicate how to put them on. 
or should I say which direction to thread them. So this mark is in orange. Thread it round the back of your wheel. Lift it up, clip that in, clip that hook there, push the loop that you've made to the back so this loop sits straight on the wheel. Take this hook. No, done it wrong. Take this end. Pop it on this hook here. Mildly awkward. That's a ratchet, so you can tighten, tighten that up. Pop that on. And then tighten that as much as you can. There we go. That chain is on. You can see I missed out that hook, um, but I think once we've driven this just a few meters, I'll have enough slack to be able to tighten that up. So I'll do that now. Let's have a look. Oh, no, still tight. Let's see if I can include this hook here. Yeah, that'll do. There we go, one chain on. Okay, so we can have a closer look at uh, what we've done. Um, as you can see, this blue, this blue part of the chain is uh, symmetrical all the way around. It follows the wheel. That means we've got it on straight. That's important. Um, this is the, the ratchet I, uh, I talked about. Um, this is the most basic sort of chain you can get. Um, and I mumbled about hooks all over the place. Um, there's a hook that does, comes undone here one side of it, not the other side. There's a hook there, there's a hook there, there's a hook there. And um, yes, that, that's part of a hook. So I'm going to um, do that again more slowly, um, but describe uh, what I do as I go along. Okay, uh, a bit more slowly this time. My box is already open. Uh, inside the box, you can see we have, oh, there we go, look at that, some massive gloves to, uh, to protect the whole of your, your arm, which is, which is well thought out, very good. Um, I would normally say uh, wear an old coat or a black coat. Um, white coats are a really bad idea because uh, you'll make a total mess of them. That's clever, um, but you'll probably only get away with using these gloves once, which is why I always have a set of gloves available. In fact, I normally have two sets of gloves because um, you tend to get them soaking um, and so you need a spare pair. But these, uh, these cost a fiver from the, um, from the hardware store, so that's no problem. Uh, hopefully it won't be so tangled this time because I put it away nice and neatly. Um, I don't know if you can see this clip here. It's very, very simple. Um, Undoing this when it has uh, when it's iced up, you get a, a, a spot of ice in here can be a bit tricky. Um, so you might have to poke the ice out or warm it up with your fingers, which isn't very pleasant. Um, but when it's dry, it's easy peasy. There we go. That's open. Again, the hooks always manage to uh, to twist things up. And quite, quite often, if you're confused, um, it's because a hook has, has hooked onto something. Um, there we go. Let's see if I can sort that out. 
There we go. So you're looking to make sure there are no twists. It's really, really important um, and takes a bit of practice. Again, I identify the, uh, the marked end. Every chain has a marked end um, and that's the end you pass first, starting at the back, passing forwards. So off we go. Easily, set, easily done on a nice bit of tarmac like this. Um, if you are stuck out in the snow, you'll want a, a shovel or a mini shovel that um, I always carry in the back of my car. Something like this. This is an old um, snowboard avalanche shovel which comes apart, which I can store in the back of the car. So you can use this to, to clear around the wheel. Even better, don't find yourself in the position where you, uh, you have to put the snows on in, sorry, the chains on in the snow. Um, if you're expecting to put chains on, pop into an underground car park, pop, find a, a covered parking somewhere, uh, a garage forecourt if you can, which uh, will be free of snow, uh, and then put your chains on there. Um, or um, a lay-by with some space in it. Uh, the, the thing you need to avoid is uh, getting stuck um, and then having to put the chains on. Uh, that's when you have a problem. So uh, forethought is really important. So we've popped the chains round, again, lift them up, find that clip that I showed you just a moment ago, clip it together, clip the first hook. See this has got a red bit to, to show you where the hook is. Pop the chain back, don't forget that stage because you need to uh, centralise the chain on the wheel. We're in a bit of a, a tangle here. There we go, untangled. You can see the, um, the, the writing on the, on the ratchet as on the outside. It's easy to put this on back to front. Loosen that. Using this, you can see it's a ratchet. It goes one way and not the other. Find the other hook. Clip it on, tighten that up. Tighten it as hard as you can. Um, if you can, put this chain around both hooks, uh, do so. Looks like the, this chain, um, it's, it's made for a number of different sizes of wheels, um, but it, uh, it looks like it's quite small on this wheel, so it doesn't quite fit there. Doesn't matter. Just find any old link to tighten that onto and um, then we'll go for a little drive. We only have to drive um, a few meters just to let the chain uh, settle down and then we'll probably have enough to, uh, to, to, to put that on properly. So I'm gonna drive backwards and forwards. You could just drive forwards, it doesn't matter. And uh, we'll see if, uh, if we can tighten it up. Back in a moment. Okay, yes, so the chain has loosened off a bit, which is what you'd expect. Um, so you need to just unhook that, tighten it up. And now I have enough chain to pop through both hooks and then pop that on. Now, these chains are the cheapest you can get. Uh, well, pretty much the cheapest you can get at, at, at 65 euros. Um, and they're not, um, uh, they're not quick tightening. Uh, so I'm going to show you a, a pair of chains that do that. The quick tightening chains just really save you the, that extra check to where, where I've, I've driven, stopped and gone to re-tighten them. Um, so Here is a set of quick tightening chains. They are um, oh, probably about 20 euros more, maybe 30 euros more. These are seven years old for my other car. You can see that um, they're not terrible. They're a little bit rusty. Um, I put them away carefully at the end of 
every year. So same thing, undo them. Lay them out. Okay, that was easier, wasn't it? You can see on these chains, this has got a blue bit to, uh, to, to show you one end from the other. Um, and this is the quick tightening mechanism here. Um, so once, once this is on, on the car, uh, this will tighten the chain up itself. So in theory, you, uh, you don't have to do that. Drive a bit, stop, check. Um, in practice, I do tend to check. Given the, ch I got these changed cheap, um, but uh, given the choice, I'd probably go for the, um, the, the quick tightening mechanism. These ones say they've got an easy to use clip, which uh, doesn't ice up. I don't know if you can see it, it's a hook. Um, and in my experience, it works very well in the dry but it can be a little bit awkward to use because of the way you have to twist it um, in the snow, but it doesn't ice up in quite the same way as my other one. But you pretty much get what you're given with those things. These are nine millimeter chains. I could show you that on the box probably. Yeah, there you go, nine millimeters, um, which are suitable for passenger cars. If you're driving um, a, a minibus commercially or if you've got a big 4x4, um, you'll probably go for 12 millimeter chains. Okay, taking the, uh, the chains off um, is reverse of the procedure. So first thing to do is undo the sprung hook. There we go, unhook it from there. If you can, unhook it from there, unhook this. Now, the, uh, the bit you need to get to is for the back of here. Um, and if uh, your, your, uh, your car is, is, is all wedged up with snow, this can be a bit tricky. Um, but in these conditions, it's easy. So I just pull it over so I can undo that latch, which was the first thing we did when we put the chains on, drop it down and the tire is on the chain, that's totally normal, that's what you would expect. Um, so we would have to drive, drive the car forwards and, uh, and then just that, that would release the chain. Once the car's been driven off the chain, give it a loop round, clip it back together again and then pop it back into your box. So um, well, I'm going to go through that again, but more slowly. So uh, I'm just going to go through the uh, removal process once again. So the first thing is to, if there's two of you, it's very, very helpful because you need to aim to get that clip um, to the top of the wheel. Um, now it's easy here because uh, I know where I'm parked, so I managed to move the car back into the same position. But um, if you're out on the road somewhere, um, it, your passenger would be able to help. And so you're trying to get this red bit on this particular chain to the top, because that marks where the hook is at the back. Uh, we should be okay here. So I'm gonna undo the first hook on the elastic. There we go. Undo that hook, undo that hook. Release the ratchet. Undo that and then pull to see if we can, there we go. It's back at the top because I'd moved the car back to the same position. Undo that, pop it on the floor. Very, very unlikely that the chain is not, is, is gonna be free. So you're gonna have to drive the car off the chain um, again, your passenger is useful to tell you when you, you're free of the chain. So when you're done with the chain, uh, try not to just throw them in the, into the back of your vehicle because you might need them a bit later on. Um, coil them up carefully, pop them back into the box. Um, and then when you get home, um, I give them a shower off inside 
uh, my hose doesn't work outside in the winter, um, dry them off and then I pop some, some WD-40 on them um, afterwards uh, before I put them away properly. If you don't do that, you will end up with a rusty mess, which is virtually impossible to use. Uh, now, I totally understand if you've had enough of this video, um, so give it a like and move on. Um, if you want to see some more, I can put, I will put these chains, these quick release chains on my other car and um, you can watch it yet again. Okay, so this is the quick tightening chain. Um, to start with, this is the quick tightening device. It says open drive. We've got it on open, that's how we want to start. Again, this chain has a mark. It's blue on this one. So you start with the, uh, the marked end and you pass it from the back to the front. Like that, reach around, lift the chain up, connect the hook, then connect this hook. This is marked in yellow. Um, again, when this is at the top, you know your clip at the back is at the top. You'll need to know that when you're taking the chain off. Centralize the chain. This is why you don't want to wear a white coat because this is the point where you wreck it. Check that is loose. Fetch the hook on this side out. There we go, it was a little bit tangled. Untwist it, pull it forwards. Check this is not twisted. Hook it up here, it's a bit tight this one. There we go, put it in drive. That will tighten up as you drive away so you don't need to stop and check. Personally, I probably would. There we go, and then when you're done, if you use your passenger, try and locate the, this hook at the top so you know you can undo the, uh, the hook at the back and then put that in open. Pull the wire out. Is that everything we can get? Yep. And then unhook that and you can take the chain off. 